Hello, hey. everyone. How are we doing? It's great to see you all. Hope you're yes. all doing well today. Welcome back for another Community hey. Convoy stream. Today, we're joined by the wonderful Neo Fox TV. How are we doing? Hello, man. Great. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us today. You're looking magnificent with your beard. I've got to say, I'm quite jealous of that. Yeah, I'm me too. Me that's, too. Quite, <laughs> that's quite a good go you got going on there. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you know, you're, you're coming from a different time zone. Is it quite early for you right now? Or what's the time? Uh, it's actually a uh, after, dead afternoon, right? Dead right afternoon. Right well. From where you're at. Get out of bed late. That's fine. <laughs> from where are you? From, yeah. from where are you, Neo? Still, still early for me, though, to be honest, because I'm usually a night owl staying up all night. So, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a good time. Good stuff, good stuff. And where, where are you from? From Tennessee. 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 Dang. I know a pickup line that goes along the lines of Tennessee, but from you know, Kentucky, yeah, go there. From Kentucky <laughs> to Tennessee. <laughs> no, you're the you're the only ten I see. Is that ah. the goes. There you go. So. With a bit like this, yeah, I'd say so. No. <laughs> well, folks, you know what the deal is here. We're joined by one of our streamers in the community, and we're going to be doing some trucking in American Truck Simulator yes, game a little bit better. And who else to introduce themselves better than themselves? Neo Fox, would you mind to introduce yourself to the community? Yeah, guys, I'm uh, I'm known as Neil Fox TTV. I uh, mostly stream American Truck Simulator uh, pretty regularly. Uh, full time content creator now on Twitch TV. Full time, uh, cool. And, yep, <laughs> just went full time. Yep, this month. Nice. Good stuff. And you're saying before previously you also streamed uh, other games as well. Like, Truck Simulator wasn't your main game previously, right? Correct. My channel started over four years ago playing mostly first person shooters. Um, but uh, I had a, a sponsored opportunity to uh, stream uh, Euro Truck Simulator. And at the end of that stream, I thank the community for showing me the ropes and how I mentioned I would also enjoy an American version of the game. And that's when the community was so kind to introduce me to American Truck Simulator, where I picked it up off of Steam and never set it down. I literally transitioned <laughs> immediately into uh, full time content creation on ATS because of this wonderful community and loved every minute of it and been here ever since. That's so awesome. And that's why we call it the best community ever, for sure. That is that is the reason. By far. And we thank you all for being here on the streams this evening, whether you're here to support Neo Fox or just checking in for the first time. It's great to have you all here. Lots of familiar names in the chat. Big hello to all of you. Of course, we're joined by uh, Nimura as well, live over at the SES hey, Studios. Nimura, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm a little bit scared because like uh, before we just went live, Discord was dropping me very frequently. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a bit scared. To, like. Till till when I will be able to to chat with you? Uh, if I will be dropped out, and sorry, guys and girls in the chat, I will switch into full silent driver mode, and we will see how things go. But other than that, I'm fine. What about you, Alex? Yeah, you good? I'm doing okay. I'm just hoping we don't have another crazy internet shutdown like yesterday. Ooh. That was wild, wasn't it? What happened yeah. with, with with the internet? It seems like all the major social medias went down and everything. So let's fingers crossed that we don't have any technical issues tonight. But if we do have any, like Nimura said, then apologies in advance. But I'm ready to get trucking. Speaking of trucks, maybe Nimura, we could look at each other's trucks. See what oh yeah, everyone let's is, do it. Uh, hauling with today. Let's start with our guest of honor, Neo Fox TTV. What have you got for us, Neo Fox? What are you hauling today? Uh, today I've uh, got my uh, company truck. It's a uh, Peterbilt 389. Very nice. I like the color on it as well. Is that to, to match the, the fox like color of the orange? Is that is that what's going on there? Yeah, I mean, definitely that. And, you know, being from Tennessee, I'm a big fan of a uh, big fan of orange in the first place. So, yeah, but uh, this is the, been the, uh, the color that I've used to uh, to rock on my uh, company trucks for over a year now. Nice. And I, I don't, I got, you got, I got to apologize because, you know, I'm from the UK. We're not very educated. What's the connection with Orange and, and Tennessee? Yeah, I wanted to ask this same. Uh, Tennessee, Tennessee, Tennessee Volunteers, the uh, football team. Uh, okay. The, uh, yep. That's uh, so is that in the NFL, um, NFL? NFL, right? Yeah. No, that's uh, college. Oh, college oh, football. Okay, cool. Just, it's yeah. just as big, isn't it? I keep forgetting how big college yeah, football yeah, is out there. University of Tennessee. Oh, especially down there, CC. It's, it's huge. <laughs> so we're going for the colors representing not only the channel but the local uh college team as well and how are they doing anyway in the rankings are they are they up there at the moment oh, i don't or... want to talk about it no, <laughs> <laughs> we okay. won't go there but you're still no, saying you're still a fan i honestly, don't. <laughs> I honestly don't well I, I am i do believe on it. I, i've not followed them for some time but i grew up with the greats uh the, you know the legendary uh coach philip Palmer and peyton manning you may have heard of the name uh so when i first was you know introduced to college football that's who was our quarterback was Peyton Manning. So, but I honestly don't follow uh, sports much anymore. I don't have the time for it. Did you play? Yeah, Did you play in the past? Uh, I played uh, baseball, baseball growing up, but never played. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you know, I've never been to a baseball game. I've heard it's a, 
a good but long experience, love, is what I've heard. Love baseball games, yeah. Love baseball games. Got to, got to try it out one day. Got to have a hot dog in the stands. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Got to get myself a glove as well. Experience. That's what I've heard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Catch you a flat ball, maybe. It's exactly. A, it's exactly. actually a very, it's a very, like, strategic game, the baseball. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's so complicated and, like, hard on strategy. Like, who's going to, to, to be on the, on the bat and... Who, you know, mm. to set up the, the the correct players, and sometimes they don't even want to like run all around, and they just walk because it's like better for the strategy. It's it's actually like like a chess game. Is is it is like mm -hmm. is it right? Ton of fun, yeah, yeah it's a ton of fun. I love it. <laughs> we got uh, that girl Nisha in the chat. How you doing? Hey Nisha, saying I believe it. Neo looks like a second or first baseman. Yep, that's what. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I I I've pretty much played every position. I could feel anywhere I was needed, but uh, my actual favorite was uh, shortstop and third. Nice. Cool stuff. Well, I need to definitely get myself to a baseball What do you drive? What can. do you drive, Alex? What do you drive? Me? Well, do you know what? I'm taking a unique one today. Not only am I taking up four parking spaces in this local Woolbert here, but I'm <laughs> driving with the mighty Western Star 49X. I mean, it's a beautiful truck. You don't see it much on the roads, it's but uh, gone for the kind of forestry, kind of digital camo here mm -hmm. going on. Got a little bit of a Love theme it. going on. Got the chrome, got the yellow bumper. And I know we're probably just going to end up hauling something like, like a, you know, a trailer for some food or something. But you know what? It's nice to switch it up. Got the cabin accessories working as well with the American flag and uh -huh. the cowboy hat in between as well. So, you know, you got to go all out for the, the American experience here in American Truck Simulator. So that's, that's what I think. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I, love your, I love your license plate behind the window. Oh, Age. thank you, thank you. Jeez. Yeah. There is a hidden Weird combination behind, you know, meaning okay. behind it. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good combination, that's what is I'm telling it? you. So it is, it is. And what about yourself though, Nimuo? Uh, I'm driving Volvo VNL with my favorite paint job, Knight Rider. Mm. Um, I still have some uh, of the like uh, this, the the flag of oversight load from our previous stream where we um. where we were hauling some Volvo construction equipment cargoes. So Yeah we were. But other than that I love this combination. All wheels blacked out, mm -hmm. black on black. Kind, Good kind stuff. Of, yeah. Yeah, the Volvo uh, construction is pretty fun. Have you had a, try, uh, a chance to try that out yet, Neo? Have you tried the uh, Volvo construction equipment pack yet? Yes, I, uh, I've actually n uh, not got a whole lot of chance to play uh, recently, but uh, but one of the uh, the last stream I did, I actually got to haul around some of the Volvo equipment. It's great. Great, great DLC. Guys, awesome. I'm, yeah, I'm, no. I'm afraid we have to do a small teleport trick here because oh? meanwhile... Uh, it, it took us too long to set up the stream that the job I wanted to like pick up from here. It's, <laughs> is, is it gone? Is it gone? Is it gone? So somebody else took it. Who yeah. was it? It's somebody in the chat. Oh, I bet it's somebody in the chat. So Who stole the I'm, load chat? I'm teleporting to Cheyenne right now. And We're going to go to Cheyenne? Yep. Okay. And there is a nice Let's... job from Cheyenne to Gillette. Um, I think. Does anybody else feel like they're hacking when they use the, the developer console? And that's why. <laughs> <laughs> As I feel like I'm a professional hacker or something. You um, know? If you can see the stream, so I'm based in Chems, Hems, Chems industry in Cheyenne, uh, close next to the big uh, truck dealership place. Uh, you should, you should, okay, you should oh, be the able. Chems? The, uh, yeah, chemical Chems, plant? chemical plants, yeah, sorry. Chems? Yep, yeah, no worries. All right, get myself over there. Get myself on the road just here, so I'll be out of your way. And I'm picking the job right now. All right, good stuff. You should. Sounds be... like a food brand. I don't think you'll be want to be eating this. This is uh, <laughs> <laughs> definitely chemicals. 100% yeah, chemicals. pesticides. <laughs> okay, right. you should be able to copy my job. Good stuff. We'll do that now. Then we'll you've been... copy the job via convoy. You've been quick here. Like teleport so quick here. Cool. Yeah, we're making it making a move here. Okay, uh, how do we do it? You and take the same job. There we go. Oh, that's a nice. I gotta say, that's a nice trailer we're taking. Yep. Good stuff. You got the same job there as well, Neo. Or are you still trying yes. to find it? You got it. Perfect. Yep. Just loading right now. Beautiful. I right, don't mind Amiro. He's a. Uh, he's still learning. He's uh, still, you know, still getting his stuff together. Be <laughs> up. You gonna get a snack? That sums it up. The parking really, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, while we're hauling up here, we'll, what's, we'll give you a moment what, to attach a trailer. You have some we'll problems, guys, or what? So. I, I, no, I no, don't get these jokes. I don't get these jokes. We're, we're, <laughs> we're grabbing some wine. Don't judge me. No, no judgment. It's fine. All right. We'll get our trailers here now. 
I think you're going into the same spot as me, Neo, so I'll, I'll hold up for you. That's a very nice friend. It's some kind of like chemical chemical system. I like the green on it. Yeah. It's a nice it's a nice colour, yeah. Alright, looking good with the trailer hooked up. Okay, I'm fine. You're gonna definitely need to right, use all those horns now. when Nimio is in front of you, Neo, just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny, Alex, very funny. <laughs> Either you're telling him to get out of the way because he's too slow or he's swerving into your lane. You should be driving saying. first, man, as usual. Or, or Neo, uh, or Neo. Thought, Neo, go first. I thought it might be to warn. No, 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 see, I've already built a reputation and getting lost, so, you know, the stream might never end if we don't make it to our destination. <laughs> Well, I heard you're quite the fast deliverer, so I apologize if I'm, I seem a little bit slow up ahead if I'm going to go first. It might help if I actually drive straight. That might that might help. It does tend to help. Yeah. You don't have to, but, but it does help. <laughs> okay, so while we're hitting the road here, let's roll on with some questions then. First things first, something we've always got to ask when we have a guest here on, on the show. Uh, Neofox TTV, where did the name come from? Okay, uh, oddly enough, uh, everybody, uh, there's kind of a meme uh, to have TTV in your name on Twitch because it's it's redundant, right? Mm. But uh, I actually, uh, when I, I usually go by Neil Fox, but my name was taken. Uh, and so originally my name had a bunch of weird numbers in it. It was terrible. It was terrible. And I knew it was. <laughs> and uh, so many years ago, uh, I was in a chat with one of my friends playing Destiny. Mm -hmm. And I made the comment I wanted to do a, a name change. And uh, my buddy, who was much more familiar at Twitch at the time, was like, hey, just put TTV in your name. That's what all the streamers do. And I was like, <laughs> sure, sounds great to me. And so that's what I did. And it wasn't till uh, you know later on I kind of realized how silly it was to have TTV on Twitch. But people use it as a gamer tag to self promote. Um, but uh, but I kept it and just rolled with it. I might do a rebrand at some point in time. Mm -hmm. But uh, but at this point in time, I uh, I have TTV in my name. But uh, so it's just kind of funny. But. Uh, but yeah, so that's where it came from. I usually go by Neil Fox. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, think that, that I think that your community, like, <laughs> most most usually, like, call you Neo or Neo Fox anyway. Like, they don't mm -hmm. put the TT, TTV at the end. Exactly. Yeah. And do you have a preference personally? Like, do you prefer just Neo Fox or Neo? Or? I, nah, typically people in, in a hurry will just say, hey, Neo. And I, I'll, but I obviously, I answer to both. I recognize it. But, uh, but no, it's uh, I've even been uh, like you know, jokefully, you know, jokingly roasted by much larger content creators for having uh, TTV <laughs> in my name. So it's it's a good time. But hey, you know, I was blessed by my community to get partnered with it. So it's even funnier now because uh, most people say you know how terrible it is and uh, and it, you know it's bad for advertising, but uh, it worked for me. So. <laughs> It's fine. It's I, th fine, I think yeah. I think you've definitely established your name within the community firmly for sure. And uh, speaking of you know streaming, you know where did you start to stream? Like how long ago was it? What got you into streaming? What was kind of the draw for you? It was actually over four years ago. Uh, originally, I just started going live, just recording my content. Um, I was doing uh, raids where I would sherpa people through raids on Destiny, mm. and uh, it wasn't until uh, one of my uh, one of my good friends I used to raid with. Uh, noticed my milestone of reaching fit, uh, 50 followers mm. and he was like hey you can be a twitch affiliate now i'm like what's that <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. and uh, so i looked it up i'm like oh you can montage a channel well, that's that's kind of cool so um i was actually uh still missing the average viewers by just a little bit mm -hmm. so at that point i uh you know we i was like okay well this is a, a thing now i didn't realize it was a thing so we uh we started pushing for that and a week later i got affiliated and uh nice. and then that was in june and then four years fast forward uh this past june i was uh blessed to actually uh, get partnered so oh, wow. four years on the day yeah the partner for, status is one that we all want to achieve yeah. that's, a, that's a cool rank to have now within twitch and for, for how long how long are you like going full-time stream streamers career like you, you said like you, you you started short uh shortly like or recently yeah. right yeah, so I uh, so now it's just a uh, full time meaning like this is going to be my actual job. This mm -hmm. is going to be my full income. I'm going to uh, try to extend my hours because on average I only stream for about three and a half hours in the evening, which is a very short window for people to even be able yeah, to discover yeah. me or yeah. come watch mm -hmm. me. And so uh, so I'm hoping to uh, to be able to uh, settle into a new schedule now and dedicate more time, take a little bit more serious, maybe diversify my content. And uh, and maybe even stream, you know, twice a day on mm -hmm. Sundays when uh, when possible. 
That sounds awesome, man. And would you say it was quite hard in the beginning? Because it always is a little bit tricky at the start to kind of find your feet when you're streaming in, in the community and, and, you know, what games you should stream and what times and everything like that. Would you say it was also quite difficult for you or did you feel like you fit right in and just kind of worked it? So my biggest thing, uh, tips I would give to any, you know, uh, you know, aspiring content creator is to just do what you love, yeah. do what you enjoy. Mm. Because too many people try to game it and they uh, they focus too much on other things or they, they get involved into games that are just too saturated. And uh, just find your passion, uh, you know, find something you can truly enjoy. And, you know, people are going to want to watch that. Because if you're not happy, nobody wants to sit there and, and just see you upset. Or you know, what mm -hmm. I mean, like you gotta you gotta love what you do. You gotta just find yourself, be true to yourself. And uh, so otherwise, like I said, I did it just you know as something on the side, you know, just because I wanted just to record my content. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I just it, I just kind of grew to love it. And so I kind of slipped into it a little bit easier than a lot of people. But uh, but it, there's a lot of luck involved too, to be quite honest with you. Mm -hmm. So you think like it's a, yeah? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, go on. Okay. I was gonna say that. No, go ahead, man. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so you you would like say that people should not start this career just for the money, but you know only if oh, only if they not. like really likes to you know play games and maybe record themselves while while doing that, because oh de yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say definitely not. Like you know, if you're getting into Twitch for the money, you're definitely in it for the wrong reasons. Because mm -hmm. like you know, I've been very blessed and very fortunate to be where I'm at today. But like it, it's taken over four years to get where I'm at. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so, uh, so like I said, it definitely doesn't necessarily come. You know, you might, you might get fortunate, you might get lucky. You know, but like if you're doing it purely for that, if that's what you're relying on, then you might be in for rude awakening. But uh, like I said, if you, if you love your content, people like to, you know, that you meet, that join your community, they want, they want to support it. Then, uh, then hopefully it follows. Yeah. But uh, it's, it definitely doesn't come. Uh, it definitely shouldn't be your your party. You shouldn't you know just expect people to throw money yeah, at you because they don't want there, there is no Lamborghini over one night, right? Like, sorry, I, I missed that last like, part. There is no there is no Lambo like for you waiting over one night. Like you you cannot. Oh yeah, <laughs> earn yeah definitely money. not. No, like no. Right, everyone no, will be doing no, it then, right? Yeah, I mean, but, be like, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but you know, some people like they, they they just read the the articles about the most like influential streamers you know that, that they are earning big like numbers of money every month or every year and they usually like get lured into the into the game by these articles and they expect to to receive like huge amount of money over over first week and stuff like that so that's what, what do you mean SES isn't come Want to compliment me with a Lambo for being the special guest today? Is that, uh, I, yeah, we, we just, I thought that was so, in the fine print. Nah, sorry, we just, we, just, we just wanted to ask you for your like favorite color at the end of the stream. You know, we, we need to we need to know if you want the oh, green yeah, one yeah. or you. We all we got the details. Still. Got it, got it. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> well, Thanks, so what were like some of the first games that you streamed before you got into the truck simulators? Um, I, uh, I I was uh, early on. I did a little bit of a League of Legends, but uh, but oh, really League of Legends. So you really you know what's Ooh. toxicity? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's that was that didn't last too long. But uh, uh, what? I, I don't know. That I was don't a pretty know. big wreck. I just saw. Yeah, that was some kind of a weird there. stuff. What did you do, Camaro? I, <laughs> no idea what happened back there. I, I saw didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. You you just start talking about League of Legends, and this is what happens. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. I, <laughs> Take the first exit, yeah. right? No, but uh, <laughs> but no, I uh, but I started uh, getting real serious on Destiny, like I said, uh, the, the Destiny One before Destiny Two came out, and uh, I played a lot of first-person shooters uh, in, and uh, battle royales like PUBG, mm. played uh, Rainbow Six Siege, and uh, I was also really big into Battlefield Five. I was a top 0.1 percentile in multiple Damn. categories for sniping. Actually, okay. that was when my channel mm. first started to find some growth. And uh, and then from there, uh, I immediately played Apex Legends the day it dropped. I never touched Battlefield 5 again. <laughs> it was terrible. But I uh, really got addicted to Apex Legends, and it was uh, shortly after that um, that I got the uh, sponsored stream through Toby to check out ETS2. Mm -hmm. And that's what led me uh, to where I am today. So cool. and, again, I definitely don't look back. I still play first person shooters like off stream and in my spare time for the enjoyment. But uh, but I definitely love love streaming this game. I feel like I can be much more connected to uh, to my viewers and to my community while playing this because I'm very competitive when it comes to first person. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Though. I mean, it sounds like you got uh, some crazy skills, and it's quite surprising to see you transition from you know those kind of like first person shooters into into trucking. Sorry guys, and, flashbang um, incoming. If flashbang incoming? Yeah. Oh no. 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna close. Just gonna cover my eyes here. Oh, not too. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh grief. Man, it's like Twitch on light mode. Right. Oh, my eyes. Um, <laughs> that was like got debated at first. It went dark, and then suddenly it went light. <laughs> But yeah, um, but yeah, time for a minute. I was gonna say the transition from uh, first person shooters to trucking, and you, we were talking about it a little bit before the stream. But I guess it's quite an interesting story, so we'll definitely <laughs> yeah. go through it again. You're can talking you about see, the community. Can you see, guys, what just happened to me? No, what happened to you? I have the I have the gun. I have the game paused for some reason, but I cannot unpause it because I'm moving. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gonna have to pull over here, folks? We gotta pull. We gotta pull over. Can you see? Pull over here. Okay. Look at the, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that is the perfect advertisement for uh, Namiro's driving school. I gotta I say. Mean... Yo, can we? Can someone type exclamation point crash into the chat on Twitch? Just one person will do. Whoever that's gonna be. That was. Just, a, that was a nice weird, little counter. That was a weird bug. I, I... Oh no, it wasn't an exclamation point crash. Sorry, exclamation point Namiro is your is your command. <laughs> I apologize. Can I climb it? Can I climb <laughs> it back on the road? Come on, come on. There you go, on. Nimiro. Oh gosh, you're gonna you're gonna over. <laughs> There you go, we've got a counter now. If you didn't know that, chat, we now have a counter for how many times the mirror has crashed. Exclamation we have a counter? Now. Okay, We Alex. have a counter now. Alex, I... you, you know that we are going to see each other on Thursday, right? <laughs> like, I mean, you, you should like think about these things. <laughs> Give it a second thought. Give it a second thought. <laughs> Okay, are you are you back on the road now? Are you are you all good? Yep, I'm trying. Yeah, he cheated. I'm trying. <laughs> he's trying. Okay, he's he's back on the road again. There's always a little bit of fun here in the convoy mode. I can always. I think I can see him. I think I can see him. So I'm gonna start rolling ahead. Wait, are you in the? No, no, that's not you. That is not you. I I got debated. You got debated? Yeah, I thought it was you on the road, but it's not you on nah, the road. Nah, I'm not that fast, man. You know me. You know. <laughs> Where's Alex's counter? I have no counter. I am the perfect driver. Oh yeah. Oh, doesn't yeah. doesn't happen. Oh yeah. Just doesn't. Don't oh, need yeah. a counter. Yeah, for sure. Don't need a counter. You wish. You wish. <laughs> All right. Let's get rolling again. Uh, I was going to talk about how your transition from uh, first person shooters to trucking and. You know, it's quite surprising that you made that transition. You say you got hooked. But one of the things that played a massive role, you were telling us a little bit before the stream, uh, was from the Truckers MP community, which a lot of people have come from those ways as well, from learning about the game, the multiplayer mode that they have over there that they've created. Could you uh, go into that story a little bit more and, you know, how the community helped you get into trucking there? Oh, yeah. Like I said, uh, when I first uh, was playing uh, ATS, I was mentioning how much I loved it. And, you know, I was, I was just thinking to myself how fun it could be to uh to go trucking with uh with my community and how and how interesting that could would uh you know have would be and then uh that's when i was uh introduced to truckers mp and i'm jumping <laughs> on what's going on here but uh what's wrong anyways, what's uh, wrong with these i don't know what's today. going on the roads today oh my <laughs> <laughs> this is great. i hope that, it's i hope that, i hope that our programmers are watching because like <laughs> they they have a lot of to explain I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not nothing wrong with the program. It's just because I'm here, guys. Don't worry. This just <laughs> this just happens around me. Okay, this is just this is just because of me. But anyways, I uh, but no, I was introduced to Trucks MP and uh, immediately just loved being able to you know having that open world experience with my friends and uh, and of course then when SES came out with Convoy that was quite exciting, uh, especially now with the new updates coming to uh, like in the open beta, mm -hmm. you know, allowing mods. And having that simulation multiplayer experience with AI traffic is great too. But uh, but yeah, I was uh, you know blessed to be offered a TMP community contributor, and uh, within a short time of me joining, and uh, honestly, the uh, the community has just been amazing. It's been the best experience. Uh, just you know sharing the same passion of gaming mm. and trucking with so many other people. Because I actually used to. Uh, used to drive a little bit uh, when I was uh, younger, working construction. So um, mm -hmm. it was it was okay. good times. That's so awesome. Yeah, I mean, the community is a strong one, definitely. I feel like we're very lucky to be blessed with so many great people yeah, in the community absolutely. here. And you were mentioning as well that you regularly do convoys and stuff with your community. Do you have a VTC as well? Is that something that you have? or? I do. I uh, About just over a year ago, I created my own VTC, Freight United Network, we're known as the Fun VTC. Nice. Uh, we don't stress miles. It's like I said, it's just about having fun. Mm. And uh, it's more about community than anything. And uh, just coming together, uh, and my favorite thing within the VDC is actually uh, attending uh, events, 
uh, other VTZs will host like truck shows right. and uh, and convoys, and we definitely try to be you know a uh, part of that to support the community and uh, and make other people aware of it and just just to grow it, you know, just to grow the community larger than what it already is, you know, every chance we get. Yeah, that's so awesome, and it's it's great when the community can come together like that for for different events. I know I've been to quite a few myself in the past. Uh, coming from those backgrounds as well and hopefully we'll definitely see more of those as well in the future with the integration of, mm -hmm. of Convoy and, and the way that it's progressing uh, as well which is really cool to see and maybe we can give you a little moment here to plug plug yourself a little bit and in, in terms of where people could find your VTC mm -hmm. if they were yep. interested. Um, yeah we actually have a uh, VTC on both uh, Trucks Books and Truckers MP um, but uh, it's like I said called Freight United Network so you know a simple search to be able to find it with no issues. Oh. Oh, break check. Okay. That was. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. Oh, I got, Alex, I got Alex, what did you do? You know what? what did you it do? Was, <laughs> it was the rain. I, um, I apologize. You know, the brakes are a little bit slippy on the rain. Uh, I had to slow down quite a bit myself as well. So, so, uh, um, so, so what's the SES insurance policy looking like over there? I'm just curious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a dentist, we have everything, you know. Okay, we're going to have to swap some details after this run, <laughs> sir. All right, so we've got to ask you a little bit about your can, But can we have like well? a counter for what? Alex's fails as well? No, like this was this was no, this was no. clearly Alex's fault. I didn't crash. You still yeah, crashed. Yeah, you you broke. You know, <laughs> yeah, you break. I have no damage to my truck. I have zero damage to my truck. You know, I don't. I don't believe that's that's needed at all at this time. But yeah, I got three percent of my trailer for some reason. For some I'm reason, sure that is the I don't know why. Fault. I don't know why. Tap from the I was back, right you behind know? you and I didn't see anything. I don't know why, man. Uh -huh. oh. It's weird. Sounds like we need to uh, include uh, the optician as uh, part of our health insurance as well. Just you know, so <laughs> yeah. we can get some glasses. I was gonna say we well, shouldn't drive with your eyes closed in there. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, carrying on with uh, our chat here with you, uh, we got to ask you about your setup right now. Uh, Nimiro is driving with the brand new Thrustmaster T248 yep. wheel, which we just so gave away jealous. five of them recently on our social media channels, which is crazy congratulations again to all the winners there but um we gotta ask what kind of setup are you running with right now i i too am a huge huge fan of thrustmaster i got their uh tx leather edition Ooh. and uh a compliment of course that includes their t3pa pedals i also use their thrustmaster th8a shifter mm. okay along yeah, with yeah, an yeah. a plus b software shift knob um uh, but okay. beyond that i also have the asp heavy hauler button box to uh just for that added immersion mm -hmm. Those button boxes are really, really cool. I think we actually have, do we have a few of them now in the office, right, Nimiro? Uh, mm -hmm. Which ones? The button boxes? Yeah, we have like three I of them. I think the three, vehicle team has yeah, them. Yeah, three of them. Yeah. The QA department and vehicle team has like, has them for, <laughs> you know, to to test them and implement like new new features and stuff on them. I'm telling you, every time I you know, see the vehicles department, I, I feel like each of their desks is slowly becoming a real truck. You know, <laughs> yeah. like having everything. You know, next thing I'll see like a suspension seat. Part of the crew, like part that. of the crew, part of the ship. You know, they will, be, they, they too will become part of a truck soon. Like they will yeah. turn themselves <laughs> into pedals or something like that. <laughs> become transformers yeah. or something along those lines. But I like yeah, Neil, sure. Neil. I like how you like disguise or camouflage the microphone. I know it's right in front of your in front of your face yeah. right but i can't see it yeah it's so it's so disguised. yeah it's just it's just out of way yeah yeah it's there <laughs> wow that's so cool that's i mean cool. i've got this big red light hyper x microphone right in front of me for people to hear me so you're doing doing very well on, on that side for sure so we got to ask you you said you do you prefer american trucking or euro trucking because you've, you've dabbled in a little bit of both now would you say you kind of prefer your home country when you're trucking yeah i do uh, i mean well for me especially uh living uh in tennessee it's uh you know the eastern of the united states i've personally never uh traveled west and uh an american truck simulator being mostly based out of western states mm. gives me the opportunity to do so mm -hmm. so i was trying to find the button turn off my windshield wipers <laughs> but anyways uh so I, I especially like the uh like the opportunity to be able to you know see all the different sites and and uh and go truck with my friends over uh on the western states mm -hmm. but uh euro truck is still a beautiful game and i definitely enjoyed it but it's the trucks themselves i've just you know grown up with the uh the old school long nose you know mm -hmm. Peterbilt's and kenworths mm -hmm. and those are just what i i enjoy to drive and uh and i think that's what i, I love the most about ats is, is the trucks themselves mm -hmm. um but uh but i do definitely love the like the landscapes and and everything over in euro truck but i've put you know way more time in ats absolutely yeah i mean it's like 
a completely different world it almost feels like when it comes to driving you know uh, in american truck versus euro truck and they both have elements and things about them that make them in incredibly unique i really enjoy kind of seeing all the different landmarks in american truck simulator and there's they're a lot more prominent i would say around in the national parks and and monuments that you have around america as well and it's always fun to learn about the geography there and would you say that you currently like, have a favorite state uh, in american truck simulator that you enjoy trucking in I, I gotta say, now that Wyoming has dropped, mm. Wyoming has definitely been one of my uh, most favorites. Colorado was too. Prior to those DLCs, I really did enjoy uh, the trip through Wyoming and Oregon. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why I watched it in Oregon. Mm -hmm. But uh, but Wyoming is uh, is probably now my new favorite. It's it's a really a beautiful DLC. I'm, I was excited when it released. But I gotta say, Texas might take that top spot. Oh yeah, that. that one's gonna Absolutely. be extremely huge. Like. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to everybody seeing more of Texas. Yeah. We did release a, a blog post recently, right, about Texas? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. About where we're asking them to guess the locations, yes, correct? Yes, we did. So there was some It was a kind, nice, of, kind uh, of a hard one. From there. Obviously, it was a hard it one. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember, so, like, um, last time we did this for, I think it was for Iberia. Like, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the community, like, immediately nailed all the... Oh, no, it, no, it, no it, was, uh, it was for Russia, out of Russia. Like one of the first blog posts ah, yes, out of yes, Russia yes, yes. was like, guess where we are? And the community like immediately dropped links to Google Street View for all the places. <laughs> but this time, it, it, this time we kind of made it hard, I, I think, because the people were struggling with find all the locations. Mm, absolutely, yeah. No, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to, you know, Texas showing more development news from that. And I'm sure a lot of people are as well. And I got to say, with your comments about Wyoming, it is incredibly surprising Wyoming you know it's not really a state that you hear much about and I'm not sure if there's a reason Until for that now. or if it's just a very quiet state but you know the way that our, our team has you know represented it and I've learned so much about Wyoming it really is a beautiful place like you know there's so many cool places there to truck around and all the different industries and stuff like that I gotta say it was quite a surprise for me I'm not sure if you've have you ever visited Wyoming in real life Neo? No I've never been west of the Mississippi so I've definitely uh, I've been you know, everywhere from Pennsylvania to the tip of Florida, but I've never traveled west. Mm, really? I was Because I was going to ask you if you've had any, like, you know, moments where you're trucking in American Truck Simulator and then you've realized, wait, I've been here before. But no, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I I guess that's not. One my, no, I personally haven't. That's why I enjoy it, because I'm seeing it, for, you know, kind because of, I know how well SES represents, you know, their work mm -hmm. and uh, in their research. And so that's why, you know, it's kind of like seeing it for, in, through my own eyes for the first time. But uh, that's one of my favorite things to do is uh, when interacting with my community is for those that have been there or live mm -hmm. there, maybe, uh, you know, they're all telling me like, yeah, that's a place. Yes, this is done. You know, that's exactly like this. And uh, so I, I find it exciting to be able to, you know, uh, hear that. That's from great. The, that's uh, so great. Viewers. Yeah, that is so awesome. Yeah. And like, I think. Uh, it's gonna be fun whenever you do manage to make it out west in real life for the first time i think you're gonna have a, a weird deja vu moment I, i'm yeah, gonna say because sure. it, it, it hits me every time i've gone to the states and to an area which i know from american truck simulator it really is weird it's, it's just the, the, the feeling of I, I know this place but i don't know this place and it's so strange but it's so cool at the same time so um but we've got some more questions to ask you in regards to trucking when it comes to parking and we're going to be doing some parking a little bit later. There goes Namiro. See you later, Namiro. This guy speeding past. Um, do you do hard parking? Or, Always. <laughs> or easy Always. parking? Always. Always? Always up for a Always. challenge? Always. Absolutely, yeah. Perfect. I mean... I'm all about it. I, I like the challenge. I can't say that I can ever complete the challenge always sometimes it is a little bit difficult there's some definitely hard ones out there especially do you know what one find i find pretty hard sometimes as well in your truck simulator 2 the tremere oh yeah anyone been out in the tremere's with that yeah. really small archway yeah. Yeah. that you have to back through or like put yourself through that is that is tough next time we're gonna stream one. in convoy ets2 we really should try to do a challenge between me and you alex <laughs> you that is gonna be a four hour plus stream <laughs> so i hope everyone can be settling in it will just be yeah. us reversing yeah both of us just reversing. better get some popcorn <laughs> ask for a day everyone in the chat's like yes <laughs> do it yeah we all need a I'd day i'd watch off. it i'd watch it 24 hour stream that's what's gonna but happen but you knew you, you knew you you usually are watching our stream right i it's like mm -hmm. i usually oh, yeah, i usually see you in the chat it's, it's so it's so cool yeah. to have you always yep yeah, I was uh, really enjoyed the last one when you guys had Sergeant Pepper yeah. on. Uh, I watched up to the point you started talking about food, and I had to go get some myself. Oh, so, uh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. no, the trigger. Chat. The trigger has Chat. been. Oh, uh, yeah. 
exclamation point food in the chat, please, because we do have a command for that as well. And Alex, Alex, you've been doing some commands, like. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. SES Software has mentioned food five times now. Oh, We're going to keep track of this. We're going to keep track of this. Every stream now, it's going it's to be a thing. It's going to be a oh. thing. So that's it. It's almost like a tradition at this point, I would say. So, But no, we always appreciate your support. It's always great yes. to you know, have you in the chat and now finally having you on the stream as well. Um, with that's the, definitely an honor. With the recent implementations of visual lighting in American Truck Simulator and New Truck Simulator 2, um, do you prefer day or night rides when you're driving? Um, I definitely uh, prefer day driving. Um, I just feel like I'm always trucking at night, to be honest with you. But, uh, <laughs> you know, because I, I guess that's one of the things I love the most about the game is um, is just to, uh, is the sight, you know, and be able yes. to see, you know, mm. you know, everything that the teams work so hard to make. But, uh, but in real life, I definitely would rather to drive at night, but in the game, definitely daytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that makes complete sense. I'm gonna try catch up with Nimiro here because now he's he's trying to be a speed demon. Look at him go. He's <laughs> he's trying his best. I like it. He's trying. He's trying. Um, do you prefer to uh, haul with a heavy and long trailer or a short and easy one? Do you have a favorite trailer? Uh, Would you say? I'm definitely. I definitely prefer heavy hauls. Uh, mm. That's pretty much you know what I'd say. I probably hauled more than anything in the game. That's why uh, the Volvo DLC was quite ex exciting to have. Uh, you know, new additions to. Uh, to be able to haul, but the, um, but yeah, the the triple low boy trailers are are, are kind triple of fun. I like it, like trailer. just like with the reverse backing, I uh, you know I enjoy the challenge. Wow, I have, I mean, I have a goosebumps only by hearing that you know triple <laughs> triple trailers. You're brave. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, you are brave for for doing that because uh, I definitely uh, don't think I can maneuver that well with a with a triple. But it seems like you've gotten to the point now where you can almost say you're like a professional, right? I've seen oh, yeah, some of your streams. Definitely. The way the way that you <laughs> merge through traffic and maneuver your trailers is uh, pretty impressive. Gotta say, you've definitely got the knack for it. And uh, you know what? If if you ever had the opportunity in real life, I, I would love to see you. You know, get out on a truck in real life as well. I think that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> I, that could probably be arranged. I got quite a few friends in the industry, so. Oh really? And have, have any of them ever played the American Truck Simulator as well? Or? I, I've I've actually uh, invited quite a few of them over to sit them down on my setup, and uh, and every time they're quite surprised with how you know realistic and how much it feels. Cool. You know, like they're actually driving. That's so That's great. That's great. Yeah. Yep. That's a lot of. Yeah, fun the the immersion. They love it so. Yeah, no, and of course, there's always things that can be improved. So I'm going to ask you a question that we usually sure. ask people that come onto the stream. If you could have any one thing added to the game, and it doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter if we can do it, we can't do it, what would it be and why? Oh, man, that's a tough question. But uh, I definitely uh, I definitely always enjoy just new trucks being added mm. to the game. So that's, mm, uh, you have a... I don't know if I got any one, come on over. Uh, I don't Jeez. know if I got any <laughs> one in uh, particular in mind, but just, Anytime there's new trucks coming out, I, I get very excited and just yeah. pretty much uh, binge on, on miles in that particular vehicle for a while. So it's like a, I uh, definitely it's love It's like a it. new hero coming to the game, right? Like, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think we should do it like, you know, like Overwatch or something where you have a new hero trailer announcement? And it's just like, you know, the epic music with all the trucks just flying around the screen <laughs> or something. There you go. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's so neat to seeing, uh, seeing uh, SES working with... Uh, real world brands too mm. uh more and more so lately so and uh, especially the way they did the uh the real world time release with the uh western star mm -hmm. that, right. was, uh, that was that was so quite cool. exciting i do have some kind of a, like favorite track uh like even even from those that are not currently in the game that you would like to like to see in the game you saw you you said uh if you have a if I you have a favorite track that you would like to see oh. in the in the in the game coming into the american truck simulator uh, not particularly. Like I said, uh, I learned a lot about uh, the, the trucks, honestly, just by playing uh, ATS. But uh, I definitely think uh, Kenworth is probably my favorite brand, and uh, and there's a few few of those trucks, I suppose, that would be pretty neat. But there's quite a few trucks from every brand that I def definitely think could uh, could be introduced. But uh, you know. At the end of the day, I, I don't care. Okay. Just more trucks is, is always going to be a good thing. More trucks, more roads. And I'm, I'm sure you're looking forward to the day that, that we make it over your way as well. Oh, I, for I can, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you get, the, get the home states in. I think it's always special when you kind of like have your own state or country in the game. It kind of just it feels pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, that's that's definitely... I get jealous when, uh, when uh, you know, people get to uh, truck through their home states. I'm just like, well, one day. One day we'll <laughs> one get there. Day. So. 
it's gonna happen one day. One day. For sure, for sure. All right, Especially looks like you guys have knocked out such of the big, so many of the big states. So hopefully, it'll come sooner rather than later. Mm, that's true, yeah, because we we got quite a, quite a few uh, on the way, but we got we got some big ones to knock out the ballpark first for sure. That you know, with Texas, that's gonna be a big boy to get out there for sure. That oh is, yeah. yeah, that's that's got quite a, t a bit of uh, you know work that's going into that. So all right, Nimo, you're parking up. Are you parking up in that spot between the two trailers? Yes. That's my spot. Yes, okay. So that means my spot is clear. Mine's on the end here. Neo, where's your spot at? Um, right where you're driving. Right where I'm driving? Yep, on yeah. The end. Yep. I'm on the end as well. All right. So let me get this parked up quickly for you here. So I can be out of your way. Looks like Nemo is... You got, it. you got it easy this time. I know. I, I feel like I'm quite lucky on this one. You know, Nemo has got that in between the trailers there. Oh, my goodness. Dim, 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 dim. Like... I thought I'm going to like... Nail it on the first pull, but I thought you were. Yeah, I thought you were. Me too. I thought you were good, too. man. I was impressed. There you go. And good thing he said to uh, challenge you to the uh, to the challenge <laughs> next week and not this week, right? <laughs> <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy is what we say. There we go. We should, oh, we, right. we should get some truck in London, Alex, and try some real parking. <laughs> you want to drive on the left hand side of the road? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's what the weird, the weird part about the UK is. We're always on the wrong side of the road over here. Apparently. Oh, I, so. I would. Oh, that would be, that would be a huge adjustment for me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, people struggle enough. I've seen it in like convoy and on TMP, even when going across on the ferry from like you know Calais over to the UK and ETS two, and then people end up driving on the wrong side of the road over there. <laughs> I can't imagine I mean, them I, doing it in real life. So I do it as is enough, you know, without being in the UK. So. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, that's fun. I actually that did try fun. that, you know, but with the personal car when I was uh, with Chenda, with Mr. Chenda on our like holiday uh, in Scotland. We've been driving through Scotland, mm -hmm. and so I mean, most of the time it was Chenda driving because he lived there for like three years. I he think. has a little bit of experience. Yes. Yeah, a little bit of experience. But he he like he he let me try it for for, for a few like <laughs> moments. And it felt quite good when you were driving on a straight straight lane or straight road. But when you mm -hmm. get, when I when I was like coming to any intersection or roundabout, I, I was done. Like my brain my brain was like <laughs> brain that exit just stopped working. You know, because you got you got you got to think of everything kind of like opposite. Yeah. You know? Instead of like looking right, left, left, right. You know, like all the usual things that your body is kind of even even in the car. Doing, you know, so. because like I have a, my driving license for 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 a few years now. And the body is actually like already teach how to act in the car, you know, that your hand is automatically grabbing the, the stick on the on one side and I was constantly like right. smashing the doors, you know, <laughs> because it was on the other side. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I'm gonna learn all over again. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. All right, well it looks like we have time for another little short job here. So we'll take a quick breather while Nimiro, okay. uh, they have one. Takes the jobs. They have one uh, fruit juice. Sounds good to me. To Rock Springs, through to Wyoming, Springs. back Ooh. back to the south of Wyoming. All right. Well, let's see if we can make it across in time. But uh, if not, it's all good. But I'm, yeah. I'm sure we will. We're, 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 we're good truckers here. We're professionals. So you've got that job already, right? Uh, yes, sir. I'm, and it's, I'm guessing it's behind you. Yeah. Yep. I'm okay. Back for it. Well, what I'll do, I'm just gonna. Oh wait, do I even need to go to the green icon? I don't think I do, because I can just click from you. Nope. You don't. Uh, I'm silly, aren't I? Here we go. <laughs> just moved for nothing. Anyway, chat, uh, we mentioned that uh, in the last stream with Darius, but I think we should mention it again. Uh, me, Chenda and Alex are going to be mm. in London, right? From uh, Thursday and Friday, we've been, we most probably will have some spare time to bounce around the EGX. So anyone, if you are going to attend EGX and if you would like to, I don't know, maybe have a quick coffee with us, quick chat with us, something like that, then try try to try to contact us through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and watch our feed on social media, and we might have a minute for that. Yeah, we'll definitely throw up a message on social media yeah, as well to let yeah, more yeah. people know there. But yeah, we're we're heading into. Well, I'm not too far away. I got a bit more of a less journey. I'm already in the UK, so. Um, but yeah, we're heading to London, EGX at the Excel Center. It's uh, in Docklands that's happening. So we won't have a stand just to set expectations. We don't have a stand or anything like that. We're there for a different event, which is mm. the games uh, industry Some kind of event. conference, yeah. It's kind of like a conference for like game developers and stuff, which is going to be a lot of fun as well. But we also get access to the EGX game hall. So if you're there or around the area, 
we'd love to meet up with you uh, if you're going to be around uh, we'll definitely throw out a message so um but yeah london in london i know yeah imagine so um but yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun i look forward look forward to seeing you guys over here it's been a, a little while since you last got to travel so um yeah i know you and chendo are looking forward to, to hopping over as well right? yeah but today we were like getting through all the needed paperwork done before before you even you are allowed to board a plane and i was like damn that was that, that was the hardest test i ever passed you know like yeah they need everything they need to know like where you're going to sit on the plane next to who <laughs> yeah. like yeah <laughs> what size of your shoes knee layer <laughs> like even like what time do you wake yeah. up what school you went to <laughs> yeah. okay alex you're gonna fir you're gonna hold first oh should i join me to go yeah, ahead yeah yeah sure thing let me just pull around here i want to see all your mistakes on the road <laughs> I mean, I was ahead of you before, but uh, you know, you got you got stuck a little bit. I love so. I love the track you you brought today. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's, it's probably a little bit overkill for the jobs that we're doing, uh, but it's a nice looking truck, so I'm not complaining. I mean, look at me. I still have the oversized load flag at at, at the <laughs> at the front mask, but it kind it's kind of a, like fits to me, you know. To like, I should be wearing all this all the time when I'm driving, most probably. <laughs> As, as many warning symbols as possible. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Need to put those uh, beacons on, put the hazards on, get some convoy escorts ahead of you and everything. You know, we make sure the police block off the roads before you <laughs> yeah. arrive. You know, just I should have like <laughs> escorts need... all the time, even even like from yeah. Walbert to Walbert through through the yeah, city, yeah, like. just <laughs> just across the road. Yeah. <laughs> there we Shut go. Next down. train that could be uh, Darius's job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But I'm a bit worried if he if he would. Um, Maybe flip over or something at an intersection, then you'd really be blocking it off. <laughs> All right. I gotta say, oh sorry. No, go ahead. I was just go gonna ahead. say is I, uh, it, it, other than uh, heavy hauls, uh, I gotta say my next favorite probably be hauling tankers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that's all we've been hauling today. So it's been pretty fun. Hey, nice. One. I think it's meant to be. You're meant to be here for these jobs, hauling tankers. We for can sure. turn, we can turn right on red, can't we? We can. It's, it's a, but you can know. only on yeah, only only turn right, right? That's one thing that I do love about the states. And does it does it states. work in every state of the United States? Like in in every. I think there might be very, very few that don't allow it, but for the most part, yeah. That's so good. Why don't more countries have that? I don't know. That'd be that'd be like that'd be great. That would be great. One thing I think I've heard of uh, from people that drive out of the country that uh, that they do love about our roadways is uh, I've heard that in a lot of countries they uh, they set the uh, the the lights on the same side of the road as you whereas ours are always on the other side of the intersection mm -hmm. so you can actually see the lights because in some countries they they put the lights on the same side of the intersection as you so like if you're the first car in line you're like looking straight up to see if it changes yeah. mm. so i hear a lot of people that drive over here for the first time that's like one of the favorite things about uh about driving in the yeah. u.s that's actually true here in czech republic you have the you have the traffic lights basically where you stop the car at the intersection. So mm -hmm. if you stop mm -hmm. it like way too close to the intersection, you basically don't, you, you, you are not able to see <laughs> when, when the green light is yep. coming, you know. It's true. And you are like all, always, you're like, you know, racking your neck to see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, it looks like we're hitting all the reds as we go along this road. It always seems to be the case when we're on stream. It's like it's been programmed, you know? Yep. Nimo and Alex out on the road. Neo, feel free. Feel free to, to overtake me, Neo, if you want. If you... <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, what's this guy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Whoa. I saw that. This guy. I saw this guy that. Pulled out in front of me. That was reckless, Alex. That was like. He how... pulled out. Did he not pull out? Come on, chat. Back me up here. That was. <laughs> can we have? That, that, can we have like driver. explanation mark, Alex, please? <laughs> can we start counting? <laughs> what? Is, what is he doing? Like. <laughs> I don't know. Come on. <laughs> That Maybe is... thought he was in the UK. No, no. I mean, he, that he was just out right ahead of me. That you know? was sad. That yeah. was... It looked like he was about to come driving head on towards uh, Namiro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah like, he, yeah, like today. you want, you want some too? You want some too? Like, I can, I can crash into <laughs> you as well. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. So we've got to ask. I imagine in your time of streaming, there's probably been a few moments like that where you've had a, maybe a few embarrassing moments or fun moments on streams. Is there any that kind of pop out into your mind of like just kind of iconic moments you in your streaming career so far? <laughs> oh, by far. One of my first experiences on ATS, I was uh, taking an off ramp and I didn't realize the traffic was like 
backed up and at a complete stop. I thought they were still moving. Mm -hmm. And I uh, took the exit a little too fast, as you might imagine. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I did was just rear in this car and sent it flying. Oh, no. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And it, it was great. And that, it was a... Uh, it was also uh, even more comedic because uh, someone had played a sound alert on my my stream. If you ever seen the mm -hmm. the, uh, the show The Office, where uh, Steve Kerr was like, "No, no, God, no!" Uh, at that exact moment that I just sent this family <laughs> flying off the roadway, someone had played that, and I just oh, lost it. It was it was a great timing. moment, great experience. Yeah, it was one of my first ATS clips ever. That, I gotta see that after the stream. I've definitely gotta see that. And, I'll see uh, if I can't. I'll see if I can't find it. And it sounds like on that day, in American Truck Simulator, the space industry was born. <laughs> it sounds like yeah. the way that you sent that car. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, oh, and then like that. And then, that, and then I, that, that next left turn, there was police coming to. I'm like, I, I swear it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely perfect. There are those moments in the games like that where it just, it just all seems to line up for a bit of fun like that. So. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Ah, yeah. I imagine there's a lot of moments like that. I've definitely had my fair share of moments like that as well. But it's good to know that one sticks out the most. Uh, I'm sure if we had Clint the mirror, would have a, a whole montage. I'm doing myself as well. So I mean, we still have montage. Like, remember what AP 101 is doing? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> like all, yeah. All all his videos. Like he, he's basically creating full montages out of our stream. So yeah, we we can't escape that. <laughs> no, that's true. Oh, sorry. There's always someone watching. There's always somebody watching. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Well, we gotta say we've seen your parking skills. Would you would you say like when you first started trucking the American Truck Simulator, was parking incredibly hard for you? And would you say you know did you learn it all from American Truck Simulator, or have you had some experience before? No, I've had some experience previously. Uh, like I said. Uh... Growing up, uh, one of my first jobs uh, out of high school was working for a construction mm -hmm. company. I was the only truck driver for the company. Mm -hmm. And so I definitely had some experience, but I never had anything that required a CDL, nothing ever had air brakes. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm actually, so the, the, the backing of a trailer was, was normal for me. I was definitely experienced in doing that. But uh, with my current setup, I'm actually self-taught on range split shifting mm -hmm. um, with 18 gears. I've never driven uh, anything with a transmission quite as large Whoa. as a semi. And uh, so I did actually, I'm self-taught through the uh, uh, to range split shift like I am right now. Um, driving manual. Um, nice. But uh, as far as backing up the other, I, I had previous experience. That, that, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't too bad because usually that's what people find the hardest, I guess. Yeah. When, when you start like trucking in our games, I think people get the, the driving part down pretty well. You know, I mean, it, it's always hard to maneuver a truck, right? Because you forget how large it is. And I think, I mean, even, even to get a better perspective, I'm not sure if you've tried it yourself, but if you've ever played our games in virtual reality, you really then do get kind of a, a scale and sense of size when it comes to how big these rigs are and when you're driving them on the road. And uh, yeah, so making those turns can be difficult as well. But, um, but, you know what? It's it's always nice when you're when you have somebody like new in the community, um, you know, a player that's joining your VTC for the first time or a convoy. Oh, as well. but, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> it's nice to <laughs> it's nice to to see them kind of improve and you know their skills over time when you're tracking with them. So it's always nice to kind of teach other people as well and kind of pass that down. Right? I imagine you've probably had a few cases like that. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow his lead, dude. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. I see. I'll see, see you later, Snail. I'll speed up. I will, I will speed up. I will speed up. I, I mean, there is bit, eighty. Yeah. The this the, like you know you can you can go eight up to eighty miles per hour here. Why not to use <laughs> I was it? I was only slowing down because you know I left you behind a little bit back there, so I was slowing down. Yeah, these excuses. But that's okay. These excuses. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, right. just to uh, just to touch off of what you said, Bill, that was uh, definitely uh, an interesting. Uh, that is very true because. Uh, the, uh, the big trucks I used to drive uh, when, when I, like I said, with my previous job, the, uh, I, at the time, my first, my first vehicle uh, personally was a little Honda Civic. And so mm. going from those big trucks from work to, to the day to jumping in my Honda uh, after work, it, this, it was always such a uh, transition. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, going imagine. from those big trucks to a little car. So I definitely, definitely know what you're talking about. Yeah, it is weird. You really don't, you know, until you've actually sat in a tra uh, truck cab for yourself, you really don't understand, you know, how how big these are and how heavy they can be as well. When you, oh, you're hauling sure. different cargo, I mean, you feel it in the game, right? right. When you're hauling different cargos, mm -hmm. you can feel the weight, you know, the yeah. physics and everything, the weight of it, and uh, you know, I can imagine all the more so in real life as well. Um, 
when, when you're hauling around. And uh, for anyone that's kind of new to driving, do you, do you have any tips for them, would you say? Like any kind of newbie tips to kind of get them going on the road for anyone that might be trying out our games for the first time or just getting into truck driving? Um, I mean, just, you know, take your time, just get a feel for it. Mm. And, uh, you know, just like in real life, just maintain your distance because, uh, you know, they don't mm. stop on a dime, you know. The they mirror. do not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> had a lesson in that earlier, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, taking your time uh, is important as well. And um, yeah, kind of just kind of getting a feel for the size of it when you're taking your turns and keeping an eye on the trailer as well, which is uh, always hard. It always surprises me sometimes when you take a turn around those corners in your truck, you know, how wide your trailer can come out as well. So you've definitely got to look after that for sure. Um, but uh, those are some very, very good tips. Those are some very, very good tips as well. So we've got to, we got to, we got to ask as well. Since you have quite a bit of a community as well, do you have anyone that you want to shout out from your community while you're on the stream here? Oh man, honestly, I've seen so many familiar names from my community, man. I just that's this, cool. This too that's cool. List, that's but, cool. But like, literally, I've seen so many uh, people that I consider to be, you know, good friends from my community that's uh, in the chat right now, and uh, and you can see them regularly throughout, you know, various different streams. Um, the big supporters of everybody, you know, all the content creators in the, uh, in, in, on Twitch. And uh, it's just really neat to see everybody. And uh, if everybody that, you know, you might see some emotes come through the chat, then uh, those, those are the ones that uh, that I would be uh, shouting out. But uh, yeah, like Max, Donnie, all you guys, Born to Kill, like all these, uh, so many, I've seen so many names. And it's just, <laughs> it was really, it really kind of put me at ease just seeing so many familiar names in the chat today during this stream. So <laughs> good times. Nisha, of course, yeah, everybody. Absolutely no. It's, it's always it's, it's really nice for us as well to always kind of have the same familiar names coming back in chat as well, kind of returning, and we always love to see people enjoying yeah, the streams absolutely, as well. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, it, we of even course, like often feels like we are stealing your times. Like you know, we we start streaming <laughs> and not. immediately like we see like the the names of like the influencers in the chat. Like you know, I was I was thinking like, hey guys, if if you want, you you can go stream on your own. You know, like. <laughs> But it's it's so good to to, to yeah. see you in in the chat all, all the time, like Nisha, you and Ryan sometimes, and and all the others as well. Yeah, that uh, that that came out, that came up quick. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to stop. <laughs> That's for that. all right. You're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I, I was going to say as well with with the community, you know, seeing old faces and new faces, and of course, chat. If you ever have any, you know ideas for people that you want to see on stream maybe for more of these communities oh, yeah, let us know, let us know. or if you have any unique ideas for some other streams maybe you want to see us doing maybe some parking challenges or you know other things like that you can always throw an idea to us neo do you have any ideas maybe for some streams that you'd love to see in the future or <laughs> oh man it's kind of I putting you on the spot in a bit but yeah i'm just wondering no i definitely you know definitely love the uh the idea of you know you bring you know people in the community on mm. and uh, i think that's really really awesome of you guys to do and mm. to bring more you know uh you know discoverability to content mm -hmm. creators um because that's definitely one of the things kind of lacking on twitch is for people just to get recognized in but uh but you know like i said there's so many people within this wonderful community that would definitely i would put on the list for you guys to uh to bring up next because there's so many just talented creators in this category and mm -hmm. uh and i like I said there's just there's too many lists but tons tons of great content creators We'll definitely throw us out some names, whether that's now or after yeah, the stream, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have any recommends, because we're always oh, for sure. on the lookout, you know, I think it was quite impromptu how we got you, you last yeah, time, I think it was, it was like, the mirror, over the weekend, who over called the you weekend, out on the stream, like, yeah. was like, hey, do you want to come <laughs> the funny on? Th the funny thing about that was like, I was I was tuned in and I was listening, but I was, uh, I was you know, doing occupied, doing a few other things in the background, and I just focused on something at the time, and then I thought I heard my name. I'm like, wait a minute. And I, like, I almost missed it. I almost missed it. I was like, did he just hear my name? And then, and then you said it again. I'm like, I did hear it. So I was like, I almost I almost completely ignored it, not meaning to. But and and in true of myself, I almost missed my turn. So my community is probably, you know, good thing the mirror was behind me to see the bag because everybody would be making fun of me. Suppose, like you know, like <laughs> you, you, you would just like miss it or like say be like no, thank you guys. I, I already I, like I don't want to or something like that. You know? <laughs> but, <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, like but yeah, but yeah, I do that. yeah def <laughs> definitely feel free to throw us uh, a few names uh, of who you think we should bring next or or chat. Let us know because like uh, we love to 
chat with you, do convoy with you, with all the content creators and the members of the community. And you know, now when we have the convoy feature out, it's 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 better time than ever for to do these streams. So we definitely don't don't tend or plan to stop doing these. Yeah, it's it's absolutely great, and I and you know, and it, it's especially to have such a connection that the you know that the the company to have with its community, you don't see that with a lot of games, sadly. Yeah. Or at least not true. to the level that you guys you know uh, put the effort into, and that's probably that's honestly one of the things I think that uh that appeals to me more than more than anything else is just the uh it's truly the community. The community is what's kept me here because mm -hmm. I've never streamed a game in over four years. I've never streamed a game longer. Uh, but without swapping to another game that I have mm -hmm. ATS, and I don't mm -hmm. think that'll ever change. I'm just now starting to incorporate, you know, a few other games maybe on stream, but ATS is still going to be my my love and my my primary focus on on stream. So amazing, amazing. That's that's fantastic to hear. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to bring a little bit of variety in, in your life as well. You know, switch things mm -hmm. up a little bit. It's nice to kind of stretch your legs out of the you know the truck cab, as one would say. You know, just to kind of change it yeah. up a bit from the road, because uh, you know, as simple as it can feel like being a streamer and trying to reach out keep engaging and keeping your eyes on the road is not an easy job and multitasking is not easy i'm struggling very much to do it myself Me as too. well uh, when i drive on the road so it's almost like an art I mean, and uh yeah i mean it sounds like you can nail it pretty well i mean what would you say have you had any accidents because of the chat or would you <laughs> oh, say you're still learning <laughs> plenty of plenty of accidents like i said it, it, it's gonna happen but uh you know and, and you can you know eventually you're gonna get so you know excited either in uh you're focusing on your community and your chat that that takes kind of party and you get distracted and things can come up quick yeah. of course but uh but like i said uh yeah, I mean, yeah, there's there's plenty of clips out there of me uh, <laughs> making mistakes, but uh, you know I try to delete those when I can. But no, of course not. But I, uh, <laughs> you know, I like that's that why you guys turning clips. Yeah, off. that's why that's we have turned great. it off. No. Like, <laughs> that's why. Yeah, I need to, I need no, to turn to that me, back on. Me, <laughs> yeah, honestly, to me, that's half the fun. I personally love yeah. clips and, and being able to look back and, and on the memories, you know. But uh, but now the uh, I think as far as like. Uh, like you said, uh, as being bringing in the, uh, I would just say only because SCS has just opened my eyes to a whole new, you know, category that it never knew existed. Like if you would have told me four years ago that I'd be playing truck simulator, yeah. yeah. like there ain't no way, you know, I never would have even imagined it. But uh, like I said, just some ways to, uh, to the whole simulation experience, and so that's what I'm uh, more eager to is just to get into uh, more simulation games. But but not no, ATS, it, you know. Nothing's going to replace the love that I have for this game. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, and I was going to say, it's, it's almost weird for the first time when you when you tell your friends and even maybe your family that, <laughs> yeah, hey, like you play trucks. You know, what? for a, a, for a living, <laughs> I drive virtual trucks. That's what I, that's yeah. what I do. That's what I do full time. I drive virtual trucks, and, and people are always so perplexed by it. Like when you tell them, like. What? And you can't. You can never really yeah, explain it. You need to it, repeat right? it I think, to I think, them. Like, oh uh, yeah, I think I think chat can probably relate with me here. When you tell your mates, like, yeah, I'm playing trucks and we're like, what? Come on, like. But then you show them and you get them into it and they understand yes. it and you know they get hooked themselves, right? Oh, for sure. And that's one of my favorite jokes. I think from a good buddy of mine and, and moderator Goofball is uh, he always you know jokes that I tell people I drive trucks for a living. Uh, he just leaves out the virtual part, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not lying. It's still the truth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Now just, more than ever. So. Yeah. You, just, you know, they're not asking any more information. But you know, ima so imagine like you're missing the critical point. Imagine a future <laughs> where I don't know, maybe our game could be used to actually like drive the real trucks, but virtually through our games. Like you know that you, you will be able to deliver. You guys things. are paving the way. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I'm it's scary. I have seen actually some developments on, on something similar to that where they've attached a bunch of cameras to a truck mm -hmm. and they were controlling it. And the videos on YouTube, I believe, and it was a real truck, but they were controlling it remotely uh, at a PC in an office with a, uh, a Logitech G29 in pedals. Which... All well and good till you get bad Wi-Fi service. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to know what's going to happen on the highway if you lose that signal or the internet goes down oh, like yesterday. Oh, that could be nasty. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's like some sort of emergency protocol where it just pull off to the side of the road or something. But yeah, I mean, they were testing it, I believe, in like a quarry or something. And uh, it was really, really cool, but scary to see. But it's almost like, yeah, video games becoming real life. You yeah. Know, in the future, if we'll see trucks and planes and buses and trains and stuff like yeah. that being controlled. Um, we, I've even seen a video recently of a car 
being driven with an Xbox controller. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Which yeah. sounds like a dream because we all love using these bumper pedals, right? You know, like the yeah. how easy it is to put your finger down and just rev it up. So using yeah, your feet. We're speaking, so, we're um, speaking about like yeah. driving metro trucks through American Truck Simulator, and someone immediately drop in the chat like, "Do not let them metro drive those." Like, thank you, Chess. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Chess. Thank you. Thank you for being like trusting in me, like. <laughs> Oh gosh, but I think it would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. But obviously, uh, a technology, who knows if it will happen in the future, kind of a, yeah, a little bit of a scary one to think about. But you know, it's amazing to think just where we'll be in the next 20 years, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. With the way things are going, who knows? I mean, yeah, that's there's definitely some companies, you know, autonomous driving and all that sort of stuff. It's, yeah, it's scary it's like at the same time, but uh, exploring the space yeah. already, kind of, or at least they are like, mm -hmm. at, the, at the brink of it, you know, at the beginning. Yeah. It's so, gonna be um, interesting twenty or fifty years for the for the humanity for sure. <laughs> it's getting pretty deep on American trucks. Oh yeah, though, oh yeah. <laughs> thinking, thinking, about, <laughs> thinking about the future here. We're, we're talking about big things happening in the world. And, like, uh, what's the meaning of life? Let's switch topics. Like, what's the oh, meaning? No. Of life? Forty-two just, is your answer. Uh, yeah. That's all you need to know. I mean, yeah. okay. Or we can start talking about food. Like, big. I was, I was literally going to say, I'm going to the next 20 years. Yeah. Well, do you know what? I, I will give it up today. We usually talk about food because both me and the mirror are starving and we haven't eaten because it's usually our dinner time right now yes. on a normal day. But then we stream outside of the, you know, the working hours to do this during our dinner time. Uh, but I've, I've, I do have a confession. Uh, here in the UK, there's a popular uh, deal that happens on Tuesdays. It's called Two for Tuesdays, and it's very popular across lots of different pizza brands. Oh, so no, I may have had no, a large no. lunch, and I'm skipping dinner. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty full already. I, I, you know, I had a nice Domino's pizza for oh. for lunch today, and um, so I'm not really that hungry. So we can talk about food. I'm fine with it. What about you, Nimbo? <laughs> and please don't do that. <laughs> I, no? st I still am starving. Like I, I, I could use a pizza <laughs> or two as well. <laughs> well, Neo, I gotta ask: Do you have a favorite food? I mean, I'm definitely a big fan of like pizza and a good old cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, <laughs> actually. But uh, but you know, SCS Domino's partnership win. I'm just curious. Oh, <laughs> Three pizzas for anyone that drives trucks. I'm down for that. Yeah, let's go. There we but, go. Um, you know. But uh, I got. I, I've heard good things about food in your state. I've heard you know that there's some good barbecues and some good mm -hmm, you know places mm -hmm. to, to go eat definitely. out there. Definitely out like West Tennessee, they definitely are known for their uh, for their barbecue out there, mm. like uh, out in that area. But uh, otherwise, I wouldn't say East Tennessee. I guess has a whole whole lot of anything special. But uh, but yeah, any, you get you gotta get some barbecue in the South. The only thing I would say around here is uh, you come to Tennessee, you gotta get you some um, gravy and real sweet tea. See, that's not so strange to me. Okay, being a British person, sweet tea probably sinful. Might get the oh, for that one. Sure. <laughs> no, I, I'm sure we'll be fine. But but biscuits. Sinful. I don't know. When when we when we say biscuits, right? When we think of biscuits, <laughs> yeah. your biscuits are very different to our biscuits. Our biscuits are like you know something you have with a cup of tea. It's like your I think you call them cookies over there. But like you know you have rich tea biscuits. But what, what do you, what do you mean like the sweet tea is sinful? Like you don't you you guys in, in Britain you, you don't put like sugar in your teas. Oh, we do, we do. But I imagine it's a different kind of sweet tea out there, right? Is, uh, how would you describe uh, I, this tea? I, I, would, I would imagine it probably is. The, the way you describe sweet tea around here is you, I always jokingly say you can taste the diabetes. Like it's, <laughs> okay. you have a little bit of so it's like your sugar, not uh, okay. a little bit of sugar yeah, with your tea. You got, you got it backwards. So you're basically like getting gotcha. a, a cup of sugar with a little bit of tea. Yeah. yeah. Would you like some tea with your sugar? Uh, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was about to say, Alex, I like you, but you've been watching what you say about tea. I was going to say, I didn't know what route you was about to go there. I was going to say, <laughs> there might be fine words here. We might be fine. Nah, well, yeah. I'm, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all for it. If it's got the word tea in it and you prefer <laughs> it and that's over coffee, then that's a win for me. You know, no matter what kind of tea it is, a tea is tea. You know, so. I was going to make a comment earlier when he was talking about going to that event uh, coming up that he, I noticed he did slide have some coffee with us in there. I'm surprised you didn't comment on that. Uh, you literally said like if there is a tea, then no, 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 tea worth in it, and I'm down for it. <laughs> I need more supporters, man. I'm oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rolled yeah. over on social media. You had International Coffee Day the other day, and you know, yeah, they're just roasting me over on the SCS. Yeah, you went, you you went like, silent uh, that day a bit. <laughs> I couldn't win that like war, coffee, huh? you know. I could not win that war. That was a war I could not. You know, what about for you, Neo? It's like a, it's. A, a, are you like a tea or coffee person? 
So, um, I def so uh, I pretty much I, I love the smell of coffee, but I don't typically drink it. Um, the only way I drink coffee is if it's you know so full of like sugar and cream. Or at that point, I don't know if you really can still consider coffee, but uh, yeah. but I uh, I definitely definitely like sweet tea, but uh, but I wouldn't know if I even like in the mornings if I would either drink either. Chat usually knows me for me and my Mountain Dew, so mm. Ooh, Mountain Dew's okay, completely different there then. Yeah. <laughs> juice. So energy, energy drinks are the way for you, maybe. I I don't. I mean, it, it's soda. You know, I don't necessarily. I actually am not a fan of energy drinks pretty much at True, all. Okay. But uh, but I do I uh, enjoy a, a, a you know something with some flavor <laughs> when I'm eating. So. Are you a fan of? I don't know if you have it really down your way, but root beer is that something you, you oh, enjoy? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big uh, fan of root beer. I love root beer. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of A and W. We don't really get it out here in, in the UK. I'm very lucky. I live near. Uh, some military air force bases that are there you go. Um, mm -hmm. that are, what are they they're not RAF ones they're like they're US owned so like the US are here in the UK it's kind of like a little bit of the USA here in the UK and they have a US fighter squadron that are based here and cargo and everything so we get a lot so of American goods in there? our local area so I'm quite lucky that I get quite a few uh, imported goods over here so you know gotcha. I, I can get A&W which is, which is nice but it is expensive we're talking like a pound fifty for a can which is probably now, like two dollars two dollars fifty for a can or something like that so when you it's were in the cheap. states have you ever had the opportunity to have barks root beer because i'm a big I have. fan of barks too yeah i like barks i do like barks as well yeah i mean a and w is a classic for it's, me because yeah, it was like one of the sure. first root beers i had and like if you go to one of their stores you can get the frozen mug as well in you know yeah. their fridge and then they pour whoa, 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 ice cold root beer into what's it. happening it's here a &W. So watch out there's a car a there's a car Struggling. Are you okay in the yeah. middle? What's going Watch out, there was a car like suddenly like reversing in a car on the yeah, road. Yeah, a car oh. on the road reversing. No, imagine. No imagine. way. Cars and trucks. Some imagine. weird stuff happening this stream, That's... like woo, it's paranormal activity <laughs> even. Uh, now A and W by far is the root beer for like uh floats, but uh but like I said, uh I'm definitely a fan of root beer. Then uh Dr. Pepper too. Dr. Pepper is <sighs> so really good. classic, yeah. That is that is a, a good drink to have for the road for sure. I can agree with that. Someone saying in the chat box, red cream soda is where it's at. I don't think I've had that. Guys, cream I'm soda going before. to do another flashbang. Watch out! Oh no, no, no! Let's go quick. Let go away. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Chad. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> please don't please don't write anything like last time that like I did have ice or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say I didn't realize I didn't bring my sunglasses today, but I've had to wear them before. I think I wore them once on the stream for the flashbang. It was like something out of Men in Black, wasn't it? You know, just <laughs> raise your memory or something. In the flash. And what's happening here? Like there are so many accidents and police on on duty. Oh my goodness! Uh... <laughs> Don't look back here. It's fine. What happened? What happened? We're good. Nothing. Nothing's happened back here. It's fine. Damn! You should you, you should be always driving like in front of us. I need to see your fault. You overtook me. Hey, You're hey, the one that hey, overtook. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, getting flack. We uh, need we need somebody that's like a happy medium. So so he's always driving, you know, under the speed limit. Namero's always over the speed limit. So. <laughs> no, I'm not. We need to figure out. <laughs> we need to figure out a multicam. That's what we need to. Oh yeah, split screen, split screen or something. Like, split yeah. screens, you know, different POVs. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, that'd be great. That, uh, set up. I would, do you know what I would love to do? Because I've heard it's possible, but we'll see if I can ever figure it out one time. But I heard that you can cross-play VR and PC Ooh. on the convoy mode. So VR players can play in with VR players on different parts oh, really? of the game, but in the convoy mode. So I actually have a VR. And I would love to try and do it on stream one time. I think that'd be pretty fun. But uh, yeah, I was I was wondering where you were going. I, was, there. I, I nearly ask. missed. I nearly missed my turn. Like. <laughs> that was a really white turn. I just, there. I just <laughs> hope that you you are going to like walk over it like maybe... without any in it, like without <laughs> speaking about it. <laughs> uh, maybe you're going to get some fuel and then you yeah, just start yeah. cutting left. That was a trick. Nice. Like, that night. was a trick. That was a trick to like confuse you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like, we don't have a GPS or anything. You know. Yeah. It's like turn on the uh, right blinker and turn left, go yeah. left. You know, the standard, the standard <laughs> trick how to get rid of police chasing you down. <laughs> Is that yeah. a, maybe in GTA or something, but I don't think it's going to work in, in trucks. In. 
Uh, yeah, okay. I guess I could have used that. Uh, I could have used that red light there as the opportunity to get Numero back from earlier, huh? Oh, you, of... yeah, you don't have much time left because we're approaching destination. There was a now, very so... important question in the chat. Neos, what's mm. your oh, what's what your it? favorite pizza toppings? Ooh. Not pineapple. I Not... know where they're going with this. <laughs> oh, I know, I know you're the person. Who you're the, said you that? can come back. <laughs> you can Who's come back. Who said this? Because. I... <laughs> I have a feeling. No. So you um, think that pineapple does not belong to pizza? No, it does not. It <laughs> Let does that not. be on the record. <laughs> yeah. Nemo, you better leave the studio now. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh yeah, I'm definitely, definitely. Oh, and he likes pineapple pizza. We definitely gonna have to give him a little bit. Of <laughs> Good thing that I'm in Prague and you guys are like in, in a different states, <laughs> even <laughs> continents. <laughs> Oh gosh, but um, so not pineapples. What topping? What did you say it was? I mean, uh, I would uh, say I definitely uh, would go for like a meat lovers. Mm. Mm. Those are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Meat lovers. Yeah, I think even yes. Oh, what was the last pizza I had up there? I, went to, I think I had a little Caesars. We don't have that over here. So I wanted to try that. Those are little Caesars, all right. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. Little Caesars, but, uh, yeah. yeah, they uh, yeah. They're actually, I, I live out oh, pretty rural area, and uh, Little Caesars is about the only place we have around here. So, I gotta say, I do like their crazy bread. They oh yeah, yeah, bread. yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, um, yeah I, I don't think uh, they they would probably be my my first choice. I think uh, my favorite pizza place that I've personally had the opportunity of visiting would be Jets. I really love Jets pizza, but no. Jets. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. No. Is, that, is that like a a brand or a single not, store? Or? The, the, they're definitely. I don't think they're as big of a chain as like you know mm -hmm. Domino's, Little Caesars, but uh, but I, I'm not sure how many uh, how many uh, locations they have. But I definitely think they're a little bit. They're they're probably a me medium tier business. Um, mm -hmm. They're not super super large like like said some of the other chains, but uh, but Jets is really good. If you ever find one, you get the opportunity. Definitely definitely got you. I definitely will be on the lookout for that because that does sound pretty delicious. Um, pizza right now that'll be pretty pretty good and there's the food the food chat SS mm -hmm. has mentioned food eight times but those are overall counters so I don't know how many times we mentioned <laughs> it in the stream but we've been mentioning food so that's uh, obviously that's happening right here okay it looks like we're arriving at our destination yes, now uh, oh yeah what is this USBB it's a bottling plant uh, or yeah I don't think I've ever seen one of these oh hey man yeah I know I know we late I know we late sorry man Sorry, you don't you don't need to look at your watch. We know that. <laughs> they always got something to say, don't yeah. they, those security guards? Always something to say. But he's quite nice though. Yeah, Is he? I mean he's only making us later, you know, so Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, he know, definitely looks, definitely about... looks a little impatient, don't he? <laughs> yeah. he, look, he looks a bit sus, doesn't he? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> can't can't put my finger where I've seen him before. <laughs> Speed limit ten. Okay, let's roll on up. Yeah, probably I'm I'm driving like the wrong the wrong direction here. Are mm. you? Yeah. Oh. According to the I according to the arrows on the ground, yeah. Oh, let's let's see if I can follow them correctly. This, this seems like it's the only way you can go. I, so I'm, let's, I'm let's on. go. I'm gonna give you all the space you need. Then. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going to need all the space here. Like, you probably should leave the prefab even. Like, leave the car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me back up a little bit then. Let me... <laughs> all right, I'll stop just here then if you need a bit of space. There you go. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Well, let's see how Nimiro gets on in this spot. I, th I believe we all have the same spot. I believe. Anyway, yeah, I same, uh, same, it appears that I have the <clears> same <throat> one that he's uh, attempting. So. Oh, mine, mine's off to the left. Mine's on that very left-hand spot. Oh, really? So I gotta go in there. So let's see how you're doing. You're off onto that right-hand side. Oh no, he's. You gotta watch it. Who placed those boxes there? Really? I don't know. I, mean, they really I don't clean know. up this yard, right? Yeah. I mean, all those pallets and stuff. Like, ah. they should clean. The, they should clean here. Come like. pick it up, man. Yeah. I might pick it up. Yeah, my, mine's actually in this uh, this lot. They're sending him down the ramp. Yeah, it looks like we've all got different spots here, so that's pretty cool. Having that pretty unique. All right, it looks like Nimo is getting himself in. You can pull on in there, and uh, I'm also going to pull forward and then wait for you to... Now, I feel like I'm going to have a bit of trouble here. I'm not going to lie, because I've got quite a long rig here, but I'm sure we can make it work. I nailed it on the first pull, guys. Um, Onyx Dragon in the chat asking Neo, park an in cab or exterior like Nimiro? First person or third person? Um, I actually uh, 
with my eyesight, I personally uh, would rather do it uh, third person. Um, mm -hmm. I just can't quite see the mirrors well enough, but uh, obviously I, I have done it in uh, in real life. So definitely, uh, definitely within my skill set to do IRL, but in game, I, uh, I prefer third. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, no. Makes sense. Makes complete sense. I, I mean, some, it depends on the parking spot for me. Like, I do prefer to do it in cab, but, you know, when it's a really hard spot and you do need that little bit of extra review, you know. You look so focused, Neo, right now. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta be. You gotta be. I mean, I feel like. Oh, I really feel like I'm gonna struggle here. Chad is watching you. The chat is watching you. So, you. I, no I, got, show, it. Right? I got an excellent delivery. <laughs> I, I just. This is a. It's up to you now, Alex. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel oh, like I've already messed this up. Neil, Neil and me, we both nail it on the first pull. You, you have I will to do not, it. I will not be getting it on the first try. You have to do I it, man. Guarantee I got faith. this. I got faith. Because where my spot is, like, I will need to readjust. Like, this is a very... I feel like I should have probably pulled all the way around and then backed up from the other side, really. You um, can't go all the way around, probably. There is no way. I mean, there is a wall behind me where I'm standing. Oh, not that side. I mean, ah, the okay. other way. But yeah, because I need to get into this spot here, and already I'm gonna overshoot it. So I need to, I need to adjust. So just, just you know, chat amongst yourselves um, <laughs> when I'm doing this. You know, don't worry, some, nobody's. Uh, so don't chat, worry, nobody's make, make, here often, make some conversation. Make some conversation if you if you want. You know, like. Chad, yeah, bring okay. some, bring some hype for Alex. <laughs> he can do it. He can do it. Oh, I can, I can do it. It's just gonna take me a few uh, adjustments here just to get it right. Because of how chat will hype them up. There's some hype emotes in there. I'm sure I'm somewhere. <laughs> okay, let's pull it forward again. Because that is a crooked trailer if I ever saw one. I just gotta say, I'd like to take a short opportunity to thank everybody that has uh, dropped by. I uh, actually have my uh, my stream labs up here to my left, mm -hmm. and there is just a flood of followers over the oh, last hour. Oh, nice one. Ooh, I just nice, want to say nice, thank nice. you to everybody. Good stuff. Okay, and we're in. It's okay. It's a bit off to the left, but do you know what? Let's take it. It's given us. They can green. do it. They can handle it's, it. You know. Look fine. at look at the place. It's how messy they are. Yeah. Look at the, all the boxes here. Like they exactly. can't make any complaints to us. I'm I'm adding to the ambience here. You know, they've set up you know some feng shui thing yeah. here. So like you know, I'm just adding to that. All right. I say let let's line ourselves up here. Yep. Let's yep. get a group photo together. That'd be pretty cool to do. Okay. And then we can throw that on the socials as well. If you want to pull yourself forward as uh, well, Neo, we'll try. Alex, decide get where. Get ourselves lined up. Decide. Uh, well, just just here. We'll, we'll just you know line ourselves up all together, all three of us. Can we squeeze there, right, all right, three right. of us? Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah. Not a problem. We'll get a photo for the socials, and then then we'll start to wrap things up. So once yeah. you get parked, I'll line on you. Okay. We'll stop it here. Because we've got the trailer behind us. There you go. And I'll get my photo studio out ready to, to go as soon as Nemo gets lined up next to us. Chat, once again, thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate you coming along. If you're on Twitch, look at us. We look definitely like... stick around because we are going to be raiding somebody on Twitch. We look like Neil's um, bodyguards now. But yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, like, hey, don't mess with this guy. He's, he's one of us now. Don't mess. Good to be <laughs> Right, let's get in the mirror in there. Let's see if I can. I, I gotta say, I do love the uh, the photo mode now. With the you can change the weather and the lighting. It really uh, one of my favorite things. A little easy, easy. Yeah, it really makes things nice and easy here. Okay, am I am I aligned? Yeah, it looks. You're like... perfect, man. You're good. Cool, cool. Freaking good with that oversized banner. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know, you know, why I need them. You know, why I need it. <laughs> he definitely needs it. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let me just get a couple of snaps here. Oh, and one more. Beautiful. Okay, good stuff. Well, thank you very much. Well, chat, everyone who's been tuned in, thank you so much for being here. We really, really appreciate it. It's Absolutely. been a lot of fun. Absolutely. Neo as well, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon from your time for thank us you. this evening. Uh, it's been an absolute it's pleasure an to honor. get to know you a little bit better, to learn about what you do. And it's been so much fun kind of, uh, you know, learning more about your Twitch streams and your community. And uh, before we start to wrap things up here and disappear, I just want to give you just a minute or two, you know, tell the people what's going on, where they can find you, where you're streaming, where they can follow you, what socials you have. Throw it out there to the people. Go for it. 
Yeah, guys, like I said, I stream uh, regularly on uh, Twitch, uh, usually around 10 to 10.30 Eastern, um, nearly every night. Uh, I'm probably going to be streaming uh, longer hours here soon, but uh, if you follow me on Twitter or uh, find me on Discord or check the panels of my Twitch, I'll be updating my, uh, my hours um, once I get settled into a new schedule. And uh, like I said, I'd be honored to uh, meet more of you guys. It's been such a blast. I want to say thank you to... Uh, to you two for driving and uh, inviting me on here today and thank you of course Absolute for SES pleasure. for their wonderful community and their wonderful game and uh, I hope look forward to seeing the next stream with uh, with even more people um, as a special guest so but thank you guys truly to everybody that has uh, supported me and uh, and that I've got to meet and uh, it's just been the best experience from the best community ever. <laughs> yes what awesome a, what, thank you so much what a what a speech what a nice speech very very cool thank what you what an ending yeah what, what an ending, ending. No, it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much and Nimo, of course thank always you. great to have you along uh, same goes for well, you guys same for goes us. for you guys it was a pleasure it was a pleasure and always honor. a lot of fun also a big thank you to philip as well behind the scenes yep. set up all the production he's real he's awesome. real don't worry you. guys he's real <laughs> he's a real person <laughs> he will come to the stream one time it will happen so a massive thank you to him and of course again a massive thank you to all of you in the community as well yes. uh, that have been uh, watching by youtube or on twitch well before we disappear we are going to raid somebody on twitch so if you're with us on yes. twitch let's do it slash SEO software do not go anywhere because we're going to send some love to the community uh, we're going to take a look at the american shock simulator category on twitch take a look who's streaming neo feel free to take a look as well if you if you have a moment is there anyone out there that kind of catches your eyes of someone we could we could raise, give some love to you from the community, throw some recommendations in the chat as well. We can see one there for Trucking Cowboy. Uh, he's streaming. I can see Crulex is streaming as well. Possibly we can get Crulex as well. Uh, yeah, Crulex, that's a familiar line. name. That's Crulex familiar. Name. He, he, he just started. He's, he's yep. 26 minutes in, so we could. He was he was in the chat one. previously. I've, I've he was. It, yeah. yeah. Do you think we should rate him? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Sure. I'm fine with that. Right. If you guys are. Let's get Krulex in. Okay, we're going to be raiding Krulex. Chat, come with us to raid if you're on Twitch. But if you're not going to be joining us or if you're on YouTube, then we'll definitely see you another time. Thank you so much for coming. Remember to follow us on our socials for more announcements, updates, and uh, developments as well of all our upcoming uh, DLCs. Uh, other than that, has anyone else got anything else to say? I don't think Nemo, Neo, anything else you'd like to say before we disappear here? No, nope, probably. No, like I said, just... Once again, my absolute gratitude. Thank you all, and I had an absolute blast today. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Yeah, we did. At least, at least I did. I did very well. No, I did. No, I, I yeah. really had a great time. Thank you so. for being here with us. All right. Well, wherever you are in the world, Pleasure. thank you, everybody. We hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're watching the world. Stay safe. Stay happy. Have a great time trucking. And until next time, we'll see you. Catch you later, everybody. Bye. Safe travels. <laughs>